Load store architecture of a CPU is a very fundamental concept. The CPU and memory are connected through buses. Now, what is a bus? Buses are a bunch of wires on which information travels between memory and the CPU. There are two pairs of buses connecting the CPU and memory. The first pair is called the instruction bus. In the instruction bus, this one is called the instruction address bus, which carries the address of the instruction, and this one is called the instruction bus, which carries the instruction from the memory to the CPU. So the CPU sends the address of the instruction via the instruction address bus, and that instruction goes back to the CPU via the instruction bus. Now comes our data buses. This bus is the data address bus. The CPU sends the address of data via the data address bus, and that data goes to the CPU via the data bus. But here's the important part. The data bus is bidirectional, which means the CPU can either read data or write data. But how does the CPU know when to read data from memory and when to write data into memory? So there is one single bus going from the CPU to the memory, which tells CPU whether to read or write. So this was all about the load store architecture of a CPU.